Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host Kenny Choi. After so much rainy weather, it's time to get outside. The annual Hall Cabernet cookoff is happening in Napa next weekend. There'll be great food and of course plenty of wine. And here with a few cabs to share with us this morning is wine expert Jennifer Brown. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Thanks Kenny. So we're talking about Cabernets. Yes. What should we look for how to of Cabernets right today is essentially. I know there are so many Cabernets out there. I mean in Napa Valley in the world it, us these are just a handful of some of the mm -hmm. many Cabernets that we make. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I like to tell people is to look for specificity in the label. Yeah and why is that. What I mean so yes yeah, the reason why is when it comes from a particular area it's more special. And what I mean by that is you look at the label and if it actually tells you the district or the region, then you know it's it's um, it's more unique. Sure. So for example, so this one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our Diamond Mountain cab. And it comes from this one little region, Diamond Mountain, that's very small, very special. It's on the hot on the top of this um, very small hill with a, just a little bit of vineyards and they get a lot of sunlight and very little fog. But the, the um, soil is super porous, right. so it actually keeps it cooler than you would think it would. Right. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's unique to it's essentially this, this Hall winery, essentially th this grape. Yes, exactly. So really, there's very few wineries who are able to buy grapes from this district. And so when you drink a bottle of wine that comes from Diamond Mountain, you know that it's expressing the unique characters of that area. Right. What about uh, decanting? A lot of people talk about yes. how important it is. How do you do it uh, and, uh -huh. and why, why should, if you, if you like drinking wine, why should you do that? Great question. So decanting is really important because the wine really needs to breathe. So if you look at a bottle, you know, the wine is usually filled up to about here. And so there's only a little bit of air in there in which to interact with oxygen and open up. Especially when a wine is young, you want to aerate it and interact with oxygen and release the flavors. So if you want, Kenny, um, I yeah. can show you. We Let's can go ahead and, and decant. Okay. Definitely. All right. So take me through because I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. a beginner. This is at a this. unique okay. decanter, so they're not all this uh, tricky. But you're going to hold on this side okay. and you're going to pour the wine into the open. Right. And exactly what you're doing, um, ideally, you want to tilt it a little bit like so this. that exactly okay. so that the wine actually hits the glass as it comes down. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job. Okay. <laughs> so you're just going to pour that, and then as it's pouring, it's opening up. And what I mean by and, that is. And do you want, sorry, do you want to pour the whole thing or just, just a little bit? That's perfect, what okay. you did right there. All right. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so now it's, it's begun to open. Ideally, 20 minutes to an hour, you would let it sit, but today we don't have that right. time. So you don't, have to, you don't have to swish it around or anything, you just kind of leave it. Exactly, you just is. leave it and let it sort of interact with oxygen and open up. Okay. But once we pour it into the glass, then it'll, we'll be able to swirl it and interact it with oxygen okay. more. So shall we? Yes, please. Okay, okay so you're going to hold this side exactly, and gotcha. you're going to pour out of the small side. All right. So just and actually, I'll get your glass. Oh, first. how nice! <laughs> what a gentleman. Um, so you're just going to pour a couple fingers worth, so we can really um, swirl it around very well. That's Is perfect. That Thank right. you. You're very good at this, yeah, Kenny. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> drip right there, but I'm, I'm learning as um, I go. And the key is, you only want to pour a little bit, and the reason for that is you want to be able to make a nice coating of the wine in the glass to release the aromas when okay. we twirl it. Okay. Okay. So you pour the wine. Right. We're going to look at the color. Okay. So do. So I would describe this color as sort of a deep garnet. Do you see that? Uh, I would see crimson, but I, I, I'm, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, crimson is a good okay. description as well. All right. Okay, so now that we've looked at it, we're going to swirl it. And the way I like to swirl it is what I call a table swirl. Okay. Take just a couple fingers, and you're just going to circle it on the right. table, just like what you're doing. Okay. Okay, so as we're doing this, we're aerating it, and then we're also coating the glass with the aromas. Okay. So now when we smell it, Mm, you'll get that nice release of aromas. It smells great. Wonderful. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm smelling, but what do you smell? So I smell a lot of nice dark fruit, so like okay. dark plum. I also get some smokiness. Some people describe it as tar. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to smell it a few times so that it evolves in your in your nose. Yeah, it smells wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna try it. So okay. um, when you taste it, let it sit on your tongue and move around while okay. you're trying it. Okay. So it's okay, it's okay to swish it around in your mouth a little bit, right? Exactly. And it's really, not, even not... a lot would be fine. <laughs> okay. <too>. Okay. <laughs> okay. So and so when you first Lovely. try it, yep. thank you. Mm -hmm. So when you first try it, you get more of a fruity flavor. Right. I get a lot of that dark fruit right away. But then as it lingers on your tongue and interacts with oxygen, it kind of 
changes, you get some more nuanced flavors. Yeah, this is this is spectacular. Uh, tell us a little bit about the event that's coming yes. up at uh, Hall Winery. Yes, and people will get a lot of practice at okay. the event as well with tasting. Mm -hmm. So we have our annual Hall Cabernet Cook-Off. It's probably one of the largest wine and food pairing challenges in Napa Valley. We have a slew of prominent Bay Area chefs who've come and they will compete to have the best dish to pair with our Napa Valley Kerr. It's one of our Cabernets that we have over there. And um, the best part about it is we are all raising money for charity right. all throughout Napa Valley. Right. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. We thank really you. enjoyed it. And thank you for the uh, lesson on decanting. Yes, it was that fun. was awesome. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much. The Hall Cabernet Cookoff happening on April 29th from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. at Hall St. Helena.